There are two types of cubism invented by Picasso, analytic and synthetic cubism. The style we will be looking at in this video is analytic cubism. Analytic cubism is the more traditional of the two styles as it involves greater methods of drawing and painting. First, you'll want to select a few objects for a tabletop still life. What would a still life look like if you could view it from all sides? We know what three dimensions look like, but what does four dimensions look like? This is a concept in analytic cubism which we will be looking at. First, you're going to spend a few minutes sketching what you see in your still life. Then, turn your still life slightly and work on the same sketch. You could also move around the table if you wish, just to get a different point of view of the same still life. You'll start to incorporate a different point of view on top of what you've already drawn. Move the still life again and sketch even more from this point of view on the drawing that you already started. As you can see, you'll start to have multiple points of view in the same drawing. Repetition is also a good thing for your composition. You might find the same exact object on the left hand side and also on the right hand side, just by simply rotating your still life around a few times. Now is the time to stop looking at the still life and start looking at essential lines and shapes in your drawing. Trace over these essential lines and shapes with a sharpie. You'll start to discover a variety of interesting shapes in your sketch. Curved shapes, straight edge shapes, all different kinds. Improvise with your lines, just the same way a jazz musician would improvise with their instrument. Show curved lines in some places and straight edge lines in other places. You can also sketch in glimpses of logos found on the objects in your still life. For instance, I have an STP logo on one bottle and an A&W root beer logo on a can. Synthetic cubism always uses a limited palette. I use black, white, burnt umber, and yellow ochre. I water down my paint a little bit for my first layer. These are called washes. The style of analytic cubism also uses short vertical and horizontal brush strokes. Try to slightly vary your color in different shape areas.
Your second layer of paint will be higher contrast and more descript. The paint should be a little bit thicker. In some places you might even want to use pure black or pure white. It's almost as if you're drawing on a surface with paint on your final layer. Perhaps even use thinner lines so you can show edges in some places. And pure white for highlights as well. Finished.